Hey, I'm Blogger Brandy, and this is Arversity, a university for RVers. Now, before I ever created my YouTube channel for Arversity, I was a YouTuber, which means that I already knew the power of YouTube. In fact, I actually have created three of my own YouTube channels and created tons of channels for companies and individuals themselves. A lot of people come to YouTube to search for answers to their questions and solutions to their problems. YouTube is owned by Google and Google is the number one search engine in the world, which makes YouTube the second largest search engine. This is how I'm able to generate hundreds and thousands and even hundreds of thousands of views. It is literally free. People are searching for your content and when they find you, you want them to subscribe so you can get views while you snooze if you learn how to use YouTube and Google to rank your videos. Today, whether you're an RVer or just wanting to set up a YouTube channel, this video is for you and I've created a checklist to help walk you through the process which you can pick up down below this video. First step to setting up your YouTube channel is actually creating your channel and naming it. Now in order to do this you're going to need a Google account and you're gonna head over to Google set up an account they're gonna give you an email address and you're gonna use this information to head over to YouTube and set up your account on YouTube. They're also going to ask you to verify your channel, which is just assigning a phone number and they're going to send you a text or a phone call. And, and verifying your channel is essential because you can't add custom thumbnails or do a live stream or upload videos longer than 15 minutes or appeal to content claims if you don't verify your channel. Now, I've actually made a video about how to do all this, which you can watch here. And and grab a link to down below this video. The next step in setting up your YouTube channel is to create a subscription link. Now, this is a secret weapon that not a lot of people know about or use. All it is is that you're creating a link and it has a pop-up box that gets people to subscribe. Now, this is a really good way to get people to subscribe and you're gonna take this link and share it all over social media. I've created a video about how to actually do this from start to finish that you can watch here. So the next step is to actually brand your channel. Now I do this using Canva for pretty much all of my graphics, but you can create a YouTube header for your channel using Canva, and I'll put a link to that below this video as well. Your header is prime real estate, and if you want people to subscribe to your channel, the best way to do that is to actually tell them why they should subscribe. When you're creating your channel header, since this is prime real estate, it's a really good way to tell people exactly what to expect from you. So some things that you might want to include are how many videos you plan on posting a week, what day you plan on posting your videos, a description of what your channel is about, and of course, your logo. And also when you're branding your channel, you're going to want to add an avatar. So that's that little circle picture that shows up when you make comments on your channel. And you're gonna want this to be the same as all of your social media platforms. So a little tip on branding is that you should keep this picture consistent. And your YouTube picture should be the same as your Twitter and your Facebook and your Instagram. That way when people see you across platforms, they know that's you. Next, you're going to want to set up your social links and your website. So you're going to want to add the links to your channel. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to send your traffic to some type of conversion site. Now, this could be your website. It could be a landing page, maybe to get them on your email list with some type of opt-in offer or it could be an online store. So the second thing that you're gonna wanna add to your channel links is your social media handles. So you can actually turn this YouTube traffic into a community and broaden the relationship across all of social media. So you could add your Twitter handle, your Instagram handle, LinkedIn, Pinterest, 
all of your social media you can add to your channel links. It's a good place to start and to broaden the relationship. So not only do you have traffic on YouTube, but now you're having a relationship across all of the social media platforms. I actually made a video that you can check out about how to add these social links and channel icons to your YouTube channel. Next, you're going to want to add your channel keywords. Now, when I talk about searching YouTube and Google, we're talking about keywords. So if you want your target audience to actually find your content, then you need to be using words that they're searching for. So for myself, I might be talking about RV parks and campgrounds and motorhomes and travel trailers and van life. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is to set up your about section or fill it out. You're gonna wanna keep this about section short and sweet. You're gonna wanna tell people who you are how you can help them and why they should subscribe. Things that you might want to include in your about section is a short bio about yourself, a link to subscribe to your YouTube channel, a link to subscribe to your email list or to send them to your conversion site, as well as links to your social media. And you might want to include what they need to watch the next. This could be your channel trailer or some other video that you want to lead people to to be the first thing that they see when they meet you. Okay, so next you're going to want to watermark your videos. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, people might share your video somewhere and you want them to know who actually created the video and protect your content, especially after you put all this work into it. So you can either add a logo or a subscribe button to all of your videos at one time in less than five minutes. Now I've actually shown you how to do this in another video, which you can check out here. So the next step to creating your YouTube channel is to actually create playlists and sections. So if you actually go over to the home tab on your channel and there's nothing there, that means that you haven't created any. And this is a really good way to keep people on your channel and watching your content. Now a little secret is you actually don't have to put your videos in the playlist. You can put other people's videos, but a playlist is going to be a list of related videos. So whenever I made a series about how to hook up your RV, I knew that people not only were going to need to hook up their water in their RV, but they were probably going to need to hook up their electricity in their RV, and then they'd probably need to hook up their sewer in their RV. So I created a playlist of all of these so that when one person watched one video, they would want to watch the next and the next. And it just keeps them on your channel or on your playlist watching the next video. So when YouTube sees this, they want to promote your content. They're going to push you to the top of search engines. And that's where you want to be. You want to be on the first page of Google, the first page of YouTube, and having people find your content. So if YouTube thinks your content's good, they're going to promote you. So you can have a YouTube channel and never create a video but once you've created these playlists you want to put them into sections so you might have how to hook up your RV how to make money in your RV how to do it yourself in your RV RV maintenance all of these are going to be related so you'd have sections of playlists that you can put on your home tab on your YouTube channel and I know this is a lot, but that's why I created this list or download that you can get to explain all of this to you. So don't forget to check the description below this video so that you can set up your YouTube channel with this checklist. The next step in setting up your YouTube channel is to create a channel trailer. Your channel trailer is what a new visitor sees. It's the first thing that they see whenever they land on your channel. And it's a really good way to introduce introduce yourself to them and tell them why they should subscribe. Now, if you don't already have a channel trailer, you can use one of your most popular videos as your channel trailer or like myself, I took people on a tour of my RV and told them to subscribe. If you decide to create a scripted channel trailer, you're going to want to keep this short and sweet. 
two to three minutes at the longest because people are not going to watch this content forever. You're just meeting them for the first time. They just want to find out who you are. They want to know why you're a credible source, how your content is going to benefit them, as well as a call to action to either subscribe to your channel or visit your website or both. So like myself, I might say something like, Hey, I'm Blogging Brandy. This is our Versity, a university for RVers. If you want to learn tips, tricks, tools, and resources for everything RVing, make sure to subscribe to this channel and visit rversity.com for more info. The last step is to create custom thumbnails for your YouTube channel. Now, thumbnails can change the entire look and feel of your YouTube channel. Now, I use Canva to create thumbnails thumbnails for my channel, but thumbnails are what people click on. So when they see your thumbnail and they see this face or my RV in my thumbnail or my brand colors, they say, Hey, that's our versity. That's blog and brandy. I know that chick. So it's a really good idea to make sure that you always put your face in your thumbnail as well as maybe your RV or your RV park or campground whatever it is that your channel is about you want to promote that of course before I forget there are some tools and resources that I use to help me with YouTube one of which I mentioned is combo so I create all my thumbnails overlays graphics channel header channel icons and avatar all in combo so i use combo for literally everything but i'm putting a link to that below this video and another one of my favorite tools is tubebuddy tubebuddy is an amazing tool it's just what it says tube buddy so youtube buddy that's what it is it's your youtube buddy it's going to be your best friend now you know how to set up your youtube channel and of course before i forget make sure that you download this checklist of how to set up your youtube channel and how i've been able to set up my youtube channel checklist is below this video for you to check out i'm blogging brandy this is our university a university for our viewers if you have questions i want to hear them put them below this video in the comment section and who knows you might be in my next video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video